Hi everybody, welcome back to Tucked In Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> I miss Laura, uh, and I'm a little sick today, so um, I will try my best to do a great reading and a song for you. Um, today I'm going to be reading Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats, and it's just, it's a really sweet book. It's one of my favorites. I mean, all of the books I read are my favorites, but this one's very good. So, Whistle for Willie. <clears throat> oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. There's Peter. He's wishing he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around. Around and around he whirled, faster and faster. So there's the boy with his dog. And there's, there's Peter twirling and whirling around. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. <laughs> That's one of the most fun things to do is to just spin around as fast as you can. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled? Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Uh-oh. There he is in his little carton. And there's, there's Willie there, just walking. Willie looks like a dachshund. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line. There's his line from the carton. And there it goes. There's some girls playing jump rope. Goes all around them. Hmm, I wonder where this line's gonna go. Right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He goes around the barber pole. <clears throat> it's hard to whistle. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still no whistle. That's not a whistle. <clears throat> when his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, Why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, said Peter. <clears throat> First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? There he is jumping on his shadow. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. 
Suddenly, out came a real whistle. <whistles> Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. <whistles> he is all proud. He finally learned how to whistle. And there's his parents and Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. like that story. Um, it just kind of shows, I don't know, just what it's like to be a kid. And that's just really fun. You know, it's avoiding the cracks in the sidewalk and trying to jump on your shadow and learning how to whistle. Or one thing that I learned how to do finally was how to pop, make a little pop sound in my, in my mouth. Let's see if I can do it right now on camera. It's fun. <laughs> so the song that I was going to sing today, <clears throat> I couldn't think of any good ones for bedtime that include whistling, because uh, most of them, they kind of get you a little amped up. Um, but Louis Armstrong's version of La Vie en Rose is one of my favorite songs. Um, and it's really lovely to sing. So I thought I would sing that. Um, La Vian Rose directly means um, like seeing through like life <clears throat> life is pink or something like that but the actual phrase just sort of means you know life is good life is happy like it's nice <laughs> um, Hold me close and hold me fast The magic spell you cast This is La Vie en Rose When you kiss me, heaven sighs And though I close my eyes I see La Vie en Rose When you press me to your heart I'm in a world apart a world where roses bloom and when you speak angels sing from above every day would seem to turn into love songs give your heart and soul to me and life will always be love on rose. Good night and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>